This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stolenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? We're now in front of the house, and uh, behind me here, you see the plaid, the lime plaid. <laughs> um, it is dead, D E D, again. So um, I cannot access it. Um, I, let me see. I, okay, I can show you. See here? It just spins and spins and spins, and it just says last seen four days ago. So I'm not sure if that was a coincidence because roughly four days ago, it was quite cold. And you know, last time when the car died, or well, it was different then. Okay, last time when it kind of died-ish, I was doing this experiment when I discharged the battery down to zero until the car stopped. And then suddenly it could not uh, start charging and the battery, battery heater could not work. Uh, yeah, I don't know, it was weird. So I ended up uh, with the help of uh, Marcus' uh, friends and we pushed the car inside there. But then, you know, the car, the, the, the strange thing back then was that the heat, they were still working, you know, uh, the, the car screen was working, everything. I could enter and exit the car, I could lock the car. Um, but this time, yeah, and then I, I pushed it in. Okay, and then last time we pushed it in here, let it sit and warm up a bit, and then suddenly it's, everything worked. This time, um, we cannot access it. So let me show you guys what's going on now. Okay, it's been sitting here plugged in, but uh, I at some point I cut the 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 EC power. I just cut it so that uh, uh, it doesn't give any power to the car because the car was waking up from random times to top up to ninety percent or whatever I set it to, and I didn't want it to do that. I want to have more control of when the car wants to do that. And also every time it uh, fires up, it will also heat the battery and shit like that. So, um, but also you can see again, let me just check here, that last time I saw the car, it had 82% state of charge, so it's not low, you know? Uh, it would be a different story if I uh, like allow it to discharge to 0%, but that would take several months before that happened anyway. So, you see here? Nothing happens here. Nothing happens. I try, of course, to uh, the the car does not uh, re respond to the app. See here. Nothing happens. Yeah. So um, the procedure, if this happens, okay. Wh wh what the heck? Uh, what is the cost? Uh, most likely the. The lithium battery, well, you know, we call it a 12 volt battery, but it's actually a, technically a 16 volt lithium battery now. But the, the, we can just call it the low voltage battery. And the low voltage battery is dead uh, for unknown reasons. Uh, there, are, there are some theories what's going on, but the procedure is then to pop this cover and then you see two wires and then you connect it to 12 volt. So we're going to do that. Okay, this is a bit unconventional setup, maybe, because um, yeah, the Shuko is over there. So that's why I just bring the EcoFlow. It should be good enough anyway. But you see that the EcoFlow does not report anything pulled from the charger. So this is just a Klaus Olsson cheap battery charger. Uh, and the reason why I chose it is because it's, it's light. And I figured out that, okay, this is a part of the, the safety equipment I have when I purposely run the car out of the juice because in case I have 12 volt problems I thought I could use this but it seems like actually it's not gonna work because it just displays 0, 0.0 now there's kind of mold was it I don't know um, but you see here we are connected the wires like we're supposed to but I think the problem is that this is a battery charger and um, uh, it's probably lots of uh, smart electronics over here, but it cannot detect that we have plugged into a battery. So uh, supposedly here, you just need some voltage. I heard that you can even just use a nine volt battery or something, or, or even a 12 volt battery. doesn't matter if it's gel or whatever, as long as you have 12 volt here. Uh, what I could probably do, I don't have the right wires. I could tap into, no, no, no. Okay. There, there, there. Here we have a, a regular 12 volt outlet, like a cigarette light outlet. If I had that plug and I can just take the, you know, the regular wires and just here, it should then open the frunk. 
So, um, um, because if I can open the front, I can then access the battery and I can show you what we need to do. But um, I'm now waiting for Sondre from Bilcomponente. He has a, a, a proper booster. It might be old, but all is still good, right? Eventually I need to get uh, my own booster because uh, I had it. Man, there's too many problems with the Tesla or maybe some other cars, but especially this car is problematic. So um, there was a theory that the reason why the 12 volt or, or the low voltage here dies supposedly, um, it, it's kind of complicated. First, I have to explain that, you know, Teslas, they are really advanced. And uh, the reason why there is a bit of, uh, as you can say, a vampire in a self discharger, you lose kilometers, is because Tesla stays awake to, um, to charge the 12 volt battery if it needs to. Whereas other cars, legacy automakers, uh, like you've seen Kia, e-Golf, uh, i3, you know, uh, the reason why they die is because they don't, the car is not awake often enough to top up the 12 volts and then once it's dead, then it basically like here, right? Um, very common in other cars uh, if there is a problem or some, some glitch in the system. Uh, but in a Tesla, you can actually almost drive without 12 volt. but I've seen it that you can have a weak 12 volt like I had with Optimus Prime many years ago, my Model X. Even with a weak 12 volt, it will work because the DC DC converter will keep the system running. Um, I wonder if that's uh, Sondre coming right there. Yeah, you see, the, the other plaid is going to save Marcus Beal's plaid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sonder to the rescue. You know, I live in Yesheim. He lives uh, at the cleavage. Yeah. And uh, it's a short way for, for Bill Componente to, to come here and uh, help me. Hello. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I have to explain. So, the glitch here supposedly is that um, Sonder told me that uh, he has some uh, info from, uh, from um, uh, Sigurd. The guy, the smart guy who makes the ALC control unit for the LED bar, he says that supposedly these lithium systems, um, if it becomes really cold, I don't know how cold, let's say maybe below minus 15 degrees Celsius, um, the, the, the lithium battery will self discharge to generate heat, which makes sense, but then it discharges itself. Yeah, and now it's dead. <laughs> so we're gonna try to wake it up then. All oh, right, here's the booster. Holy macaroni, it must be pretty old. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but anyway, good old build tema. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but um, uh, we are now connected to <coughs> easy, uh, EcoFlow. Yeah, uh, it's not pulling any power yet. Oh, I'll but turn it off, I get turn it on. Ooh, that humming sounds uh, promising. But let me just check here. The good thing we have, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's pulling 240 watts right now. Oh, yeah. Hmm, okay. So there's something going on. Yep. Maybe maybe 240 watts is the idle <laughs> consumption. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> okay, but then, all right, let me see. If you just plug it in here, let me see if it, uh, if anything happens. We, you know, we could just have a small 12 volt gel battery, whatever. Uh, and as long as you feed the system, it's supposed to just open the trunk. Huh? Oh. Nothing happens. Oh, I guess. Oh, oh, are there sparks? Oh. Okay. I heard something. Yeah, me too. Huh. Okay, that's strange, but uh, yeah, that's is strange. the car the car is not alive? Is it? No, no, no. It's still dead. Where are they? Oh, yes! Oh. We're in! We're in! Almost. Hold it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold it. Uh, okay, hold it, hold it. Okay, I have hold to. it. Wait, so just I have to. Yeah, yeah, just. I have to it help up. it up, right? Da -da, yes! Oh, first. <laughs> Okay, that was uh, oh, that's good. That was first base. Now we have to go to second base. Um, yeah, uh, Sondre he has actually done this uh, not long time ago because the plant was sitting outside the build Componente and it died also. That was uh, in the previous time, previous uh, period when we had like two, two, three weeks ago when we had the previous uh, Siberia coal period. So, ah, okay, so this is good because I'm a kind of noob here, but Sonder should know what to do here. Because mm -hmm. you found a screw, screwdriver. Here's a screwdriver, yes. Right. I just need to lift this one. Oh, okay. And pull this. Oh, uh -huh. And then it 
should come loose like this. So you yeah, need the, to do this when you jump start the car. Yeah, yeah. It, it's okay. So you know the whole procedure here, the whole logic behind this is that that's 16 volt, but when you disconnect that battery, and then you put to 12 volt, because these these boosters or whatever they operate from 12 to 14 volt, or they have 14 volt uh, charging. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I run that. So so then the car will automatically understand that that's 12 volt, not 16 volt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see if this works. And then how is this again? Red first, red on dead, and then ground afterwards. And that should wake up the car. Hopefully, yeah. if it's enough power. Yeah. Oh, okay, sparks. <gasps> let me see, let me see. Now you can hear. It's ticking and... Okay, so there's some contactors. Yeah. Hey, there, there, there. Oh! <laughs> wait, wait, what was that? It was... It came on and then it died. Uh, do I have to do this? I'm not... uh, we'll see. Last time it took like 30, 40 seconds. Oh, uh, okay. I think. Let's see if, if it, it's uh... enough power then. That's, okay, that's, uh... but there's something going on now. Let me see if we can, uh, if the car go. What the heck is that sound? Uh, let's see if it. <laughs> I don't know. It's Maybe it's not enough power. But I, how much is it pulling from the Ecofor? <coughs> Let's check here. It's pulling, oh, it's pulling slightly more now. It's pulling 400 watts. Yeah. Okay, initially it pulled only 350 watts. So it seems you, like... Let's see here, you can see the car is pulling like... Oh, I see here. Six, seven amps, it was just over 10 for a couple of seconds ago. Okay. So you'll see if it's enough. I don't know if it's enough, but... Oh, and then it dropped again. Huh. I can't remember that sound from last time, yeah. so maybe... <laughs> I have to buy something, well, maybe not exactly like this, but <laughs> Biltama, they have a little bit smaller, but not those small power banners, but something a little bit more substantial. Yeah. Yeah. Because I see now that my solution here is not going to work, so good thing we found out here, not when I was... if I would be stranded by the road. Yeah, I'm a little bit uncertain. Maybe it's not enough power, maybe? But I heard a little choo -choo -choo here, yeah. but I don't know what the heck happened. Can we can we disconnect here? Well, maybe at least? maybe it's not enough. Should, maybe you can maybe we can disconnect and connect again. Yeah, I'll try that. The car suddenly it went alive. At least the door opened. But we just had to wait for it to um, fire up. I think, wait, wait, uh, oh, okay. Um, the alarm suddenly went as if it didn't detect that we were supposed to be here. If I press the brake, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Let me check. Oh, okay. There, something. Yeah, just like last time. Initially, when you plug it in, something happened, but then uh, we just, somehow we have to wake up the car again. Oh, this is strange. Maybe the booster is not powerful enough, but it has plenty of uh, current available. You can see here that it's, just, it's pulling 15 amp. That's roughly 200 watts. And, and well, you can see it here. Well, and then the total is 450, yeah, watts roughly. This is strange why it suddenly just woke up. Yeah, it suddenly just did. Maybe we need a more powerful booster. What happened now? <laughs> but, okay. But this seems to Something's be happened again. The door handles went in and out again. Yeah, group, group. <laughs> But you see, the booster here can, can deliver 40 amp, which is 5 kilowatt. Okay, now stuff is happening. Um, we uh, connected the... Oh, okay. We connected the, the, the lithium battery again, and then suddenly it went into some logic. And yeah, you see, it's now online. It's, it responded to the app. It, it is alive. <coughs> yeah. yeah. So, okay. Uh, I'm actually not sure what happened, but... Um, I think the procedure is that you just somehow have to wake up the car. I don't know, we had to try a couple of times until we could suddenly get inside the car and then you have to put the battery back in. Oh, yeah. yeah. We need to put on the cap there. And 
Okay, so in the in the service menu, you'll see that. Oh, look at this. <sighs> yeah, nineteen percent. That's low. Yeah, no wonder it didn't start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully it's now heat. Uh, it's now uh, um, charging up. Yeah, yeah. It's already going up quite quickly. Huh. So I wonder if this is a, a, a like a bug glitch in the in the matrix. Uh, it causes uh, the car to dis discharge this, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, because it should charge while the car is parked. Yeah, it should do it like uh, previous uh, generation batteries. Huh. Okay, voltage fourteen. Oh, oh okay. So you can. So it's, it's supposed to be stable at around seventy nine, uh -huh. eighty percent. Oh, oh, so all it, the time. So it, it charges it up to 80% only? Yeah. Okay. Huh. But there is obviously something wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since it's only, was it 19%? Yeah, but you see, now, now it's only minus 3 degrees Celsius. And I wonder, four, five days ago, if it was minus, uh, I think it was minus 16 or 17 at night. And that could have caused the problem. Yeah, now it's at 23, so it goes up relatively fast. But it seems like uh, this uh, this occurs when it's cold, you know, minus, I don't know, minus 15 or lower. Yeah, probably, something like that. Since it happens before and the temperature was the same. Yeah. It was low and the car didn't start. Yeah. It's just then dead. it's time for me to say, maybe they don't have cold weather in California. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe. <shit. laughs> All right, off we go, Sondre. Yeah, by the way, th that plaid, Sonder's plan has the, the laser elite uh, 18 plus or whatever it's called. Yeah. Uh, I need to test the lead bar one day. <laughs> but okay. Anyway, um, so I have now heated the battery. Uh, we were talking a lot, but okay. So you see here, after a while now, no, no there's so many stuff we can, we can look at. The, for example, if we go to uh, charging, we can see now that um, the battery is heated up to, yeah. 7, 8 to 15 degrees Celsius and if we go here, you go to 8 bit system, you see that it is now slowly going up because here, the, the thing is that when you look at this screen for AC charging, you can't really tell if the car is charging or not, even though it claims to be charging, you know, you, you cannot trust whatever the car says here, which is a bit uh, funny, man, that, uh, yeah. Normally you would be able to trust whatever the, the car claims, right? You know, like when I had the problem with the battery heat and not uh, kicking in, it claims that it was heating, but it was in fact not heating. I could see that in Scamma Tesla. I haven't hooked up Scamma Tesla now, but but uh, yeah, so now it, we are not charging at nine kilowatt uh, because we are using some for the for HVAC here and some stuff. But okay, uh, if I had uh, Scamma Tesla, I would see how many kilowatt we are charging at. But, but, but I want to show you something. Oh, sorry. The, uh, yeah, low voltage. So the low voltage uh, charged to 70. It went up to 81%. And then it dipped a bit to 80%. So it's, it stays around 80% under normal conditions. Yeah. <laughs> and then, by the way, also uh, Sondre. Yeah, Sondre's plaid had no problem at all. Like, you know, okay, he lives nearby here. So it, it is also cold around where Sondre lives and sometimes he parks the plaid outside which means that this, the, his plaid gets the same uh, weather condition as this lime lemon plaid so I wonder if huh, after the flooding they fix the main battery but there might be other problems with that occurred after the flooding that uh, 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 they don't care about the uh, insurance company and and so on because I think this is not. I mean, yeah, okay. I made fun of um, of Tesla earlier when we were outside that you know there, that this California car has not been designed for. It. But actually, in general, Tesla they have really top notch engineering. You know, Tesla was the first company that started with preheating of the battery before fast charging. They even had it in the um, they had it in the patent documents or some shit like that, uh, like five years ago. I remember I read something uh, and then they implemented it in 20. Well, actually, no, no, it must have been before that time. Yeah, because they implemented preheating already in 2019. That was five years ago. So I wonder if it was more like eight years ago that I first heard about this. I was like, huh, what? 
But then back then with the uh, Mill and the Falcon, we had well, we already have had um, heat scavenging, so that uh, the leftover heat from the motor was fed into the battery, and the battery was kept around 20, 30 degrees Celsius, and that was w warm enough so that uh, you know a, a Tesla from twenty thirteen would not uh, Colgate. But but okay, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. So. I suspect that there's something wrong with this car and that the reason why the car died and couldn't start when I did the discharging test, you know, the camping test, and also the reason why it died uh, outside of a build component there several weeks ago and the reason why it wouldn't start now, it is not by design. I mean, it's not supposed to be like this. That's what I'm claiming. So yeah, um, back here, let me show you. Um, I like this diagram. No, no, this one. Cool. The, 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 man, this is freaking porn, man. Like, this is engineering porn. Uh, I wonder if other, um, other brands, you know, um, if, if the, the service menu looks fancy like this. Because in Skama Tesla, I can see just some numbers. I can see the, the, the battery inlet and the powertrain inlet, right? But I don't know the direction, the, the flow. But here you can see that... Um, the coolant flows here. We have 16 degrees Celsius into the battery loop. And then actually the autopilot is part of the battery loop. Interesting. But the autopilot uh, probably just sucks, I don't know, hopefully just 100 watts, not more than that, right? Uh, so it, it picks up some heat from the autopilot and then heats up the battery. And then the outlet here, there is no outlet temperature, but you see that it goes here and then goes via pump and then it becomes the powertrain inlet so that means it should mean that uh, from 16 degrees that goes in then 15 degrees goes out earlier when it was heating up there was like it was it kind of lost seven degrees celsius via the battery loop so now it should indicate that it is not heating up much and here you see that it also runs through the pcs oh what is that pcs uh okay but at least we have then the motors here, this is left and right rear motor, this is triple motor, you know, and then front. So it runs through all this to pick up heat and then goes there. And then there's also an, another loop here. So man, this is so, so cool. I actually don't understand everything that was going on here, but it's uh, pretty cool. But okay, at least now the car is alive, it is charging. Yeah, I can also show you here, uh, if you go to, uh, no, you have to go to high voltage um, uh, battery. No, 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 um, system. Yeah, you see that state it is charging now, so it's slowly going up. So, yeah, anyway, that's it with the plaid. <laughs> uh, it's still not over. Um, we have to figure out uh, what is wrong, maybe, uh, but then who's gonna, who's gonna find out that this? Uh, you, I mean, much because he can deliver the car to Tesla, but um, I get the impression that Tesla, they don't really take that much time they don't have to, the time to fix or de they, they don't they, they don't have time to dig deep enough to figure out what is really wrong here you know uh, i heard uh, from uh, from sondre sitting here we were chatting here that um, there was one customer who had some problem with the with the lead bar that sondre installed or a build component and then uh, there was, yeah, and then he went, the car died or some shit, and then uh, Sonde told the guy, the customer, that hey, you, you just have to, you know, do the same thing we did, you know, 12 volt there, open the front, and then disconnect the battery and some shit like that, but the customer didn't do that, he just called the tow truck, and then they towed the car over to Tesla, and then what did Tesla do? Instead of trying to charge up the 12 volt battery, or the 18, uh, the 16 volt battery, Tesla just replaced the whole lithium battery. And then they wanted, uh, and then the customer wanted money from Sonder. I think he was like, okay, whatever. So he, they paid for it, even though might not have been their fault. But um, yeah, so I wonder if Valdemar wants to go deep. He always goes deep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but Valdemar probably wants to uh, take a look at this car. <laughs> yeah. But it's not over yet, and just like uh, Marco said uh, when we were talking about the plaid, he said you know, we just have to milk the plaid for whatever it's worth. Yeah. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching, and talk to you later.